Okay, hello everybody and welcome to Candidates Cards on the Table. This week we're going to be talking about proposals related to the peace agreement and peace talks. To start us off is Dara. Hello everyone, our first uh, candidate today has the following position. The candidate truly believes in the peace process and says that programs of education, rehabilitation and integration are really important. They know it's a difficult process but say change is possible. The candidate wants to focus on programs of civic culture to learn how to live together and accept differences. Families, school and all society have to work for this. This candidate wants to guarantee safety and security um, in urban and rural areas. They hope a peace deal with LAN can be made, but they accept that there are other forms of violence in the country that need to be addressed. Uh, okay, the second candidate says that he will respect the deal signed with FARC because uh, it has been agreed and it deserves to be respected. And second, the candidate says that he will welcome an agreement with the, with the ELN, but only if this guerrilla may call a ceasefire. Hi everyone, the third candidate says the eradication of substitution of illegal crops must be obligatory. The involvement in narco trafficking can have no amnesty for political reasons. The FARC seats in the Congress should be given to their victims unless the FARC face punishment, and the candidate is unwilling to negotiate with the ELN due to their lack of commitment. The fourth candidate says he will respect and implement the peace agreements with the FARC, but he does not support the current negotiations with the ELN because he thinks the group is becoming stronger and has not shown they are willing to make a deal. Hi everyone, our final candidate proposes a fully implementation of the peace agreement and to start a program called Peace in Progress. And the, the objective is to eradicate structural uh, causes of violence such as poverty, lack of education, unemployment and welfare by offering scholarships, job opportunities and social investment. In relation to talks with the ELN, uh, the candidate says that the group must stop kidnappings and declare ceasefire in order to enter talks with his government. Okay, thanks a lot, Brendan. All that's left to do now is to reveal the identity of your candidate. The final candidate was Humberto de la Calle. The fourth candidate is Germán Vargas Lleras. Uh, okay, the third candidate is Iván Duque. Okay, uh, our second candidate was Gustavo Petro. The first candidate is Sergio Fajardo. Okay, thanks very much for everyone for participating today and all of you for watching at home. Uh, today we didn't discuss what we think are good points and bad points about the proposals. We're going to leave that up to you, the viewers. So please post a comment and let us know what you think are the good things and the bad things about the proposals of the candidates that we've heard today. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh,